All right, so today we got the Magpul bipod for the Picatinny rail. Ordered this off of Amazon for around a hundred and four dollars. This is going to be going on my AR-15 16-inch BCM rifle. And this is an unboxing, so let's go ahead and take a look. Owner's manual. All right, there it is. This is a polymer-based bipod. Uh, reason why I got polymer over the traditional metal is because it's considerably lighter, and this is going to be strictly going on my AR-15 rifle. So I didn't I didn't need anything super heavy by any means. So and uh I'm assuming that this is reinforced polymer like they do with all of their Mag Magpul products. <clears throat> okay. Got a button here to extend. Okay. Pretty positive feedback on the Detex, nice clicks. This piece here looks like is some kind of metal around here with a rubbery piece here. This of course is metal. Has a pan feature. You could pan it or you could lock it and it does have a tilt feature as well the buttons here is metal that's nice it looks like you push this in and oh wow it's, <laughs> that's surprisingly really robust that seems pretty solid Push in here. Positive feedbacks on the clicks. The feet are rubberized for grip. These are also interchangeable, so that's nice. This here loosens up. And then you can rotate the pan feature. I think we need to loosen up all the way though. Oh, there we go. You can rotate from lock or to pan. So right now that's in pan. And then you would just tighten this down. Let's see, now it can pan. It moves. All right, let's put this on my rifle and see how it looks. So what I like about it so far is the polymer is very rigid. It seems very sturdy, just like most of Magpul's polymer products. I like the fact that they combine polymer with steel or metal this leg here is nice and rigid metal and for what it's worth it does seem to be machined pretty good for what it is being a polymer bipod so so far so good I'm liking what I'm seeing. Hear those clicks. I believe it, it's, it can extend all the way up to 10 inches from 6. Which is nice. Alright, this is a little hack I learned from YouTube. 
So this is a Picatinny um, insert that I got off Amazon. And the reason why I did this is so I could quickly attach and detach the bipod. It's spring-loaded. Push these pins in. Lock it into your M-lock rail and release. And it spreads out to hold in place. This Picatinny insert here will fit on this. That way I can quickly either attach the bipod or detach the bipod. So again, I bought this off Amazon. I believe it's called a Connect uh, Picatinny rail. Just look it up on there. This is a great idea if you don't want to permanently mount this to your M-Lock rail. They also sell this um, in a quick detach model that's for the swivel attachment but I don't have that swivel attachment and I found this to be a little bit more useful for what I'm doing with my rifle. So I got my rifle here I just wanted to, sh to show you how this works. Push these in to declaps the feet. Pick a slot Push in all the way and release until it clicks. Not a lot of play. So that sits in there like that. Nice and flush. And from here, I could attach my Picatinny rail to this bipod. And if I want to let go, take it off simply just push in the tabs comes out highly recommend this so I'm gonna, I'm gonna install my quick detach piece here into my Picatinny this is the perfect size for this right there boom and we'll tighten her down till that Picatinny is securely on there Okay, that is in. It's not going anywhere. So this will allow me to quickly detach. Very, very handy, useful, and I'm glad I found out about this on YouTube. So thank you for all those who share and post videos like this one to help other people like you and me to learn something new. Alright, now we're going to install this into the bottom of my M-Block rail and I'm going to show you how easy it is to quickly attach this for your rifle. So push these in and then we're going to insert into our M-Block. That quick and that easy. That's in there. Not a lot of play. Nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. If I want to take this bipod off, simply push in the tabs, comes right out. Real neat. Let's go ahead and put this back on so we can see the other features of the bipod. Push in, snug. Here's just That's another in. demonstration of the quick detach that you can customize by using this piece that I bought for uh, the bipod. You just clip it in and pull it out. Now you can store it away if you don't want to keep it on your rifle. But I do have the tilt feature allowing you to tilt the rifle left or right feels very solid. You can loosen the, the sensitivity of it if you want. You can make it tighter or looser. 
I have mine a little bit on the tighter side just so it feels snug. Another good question people ask is if you're able to load on your bipod. The reason for loading on your bipod is to reduce the um, muzzle rise, the recoil. So loading the bipod simply means putting forward pressure like this. See how it wiggles back and forth? Loading the bipod, you want to put forward pressure like that onto the ground, allowing it to dig in a little bit more to help with the muzzle rise and to medicate that recoil. Now, you don't have to load your bipod every time you shoot it, but for those that do, it's nice because it has a little bit of play so you're able to load it if you wanted to. So this here, we got the legs extended to the max, 10 inches. Nice and sturdy, Ro rifle can rotate. I like that it has enough wiggle room, but not too much. Just enough enough that you need if you wanted to put some pressure on the front legs and load load that bipod to dig those legs into the ground. So if you wanted to load it, you have that ability to do that. Just like that, and you can load it into the dirt to medicate that. Another rifle. nice feature that I like is that if you wanted to rest your rifle on a bench or a window seal. You could use these as like um, a grounding so you could rest it on. And you could even butt it up against the metal hardware. So it's butted up against the edge of whatever you're shooting off of. And it, it it's nice for a stabilization. So I like that feature as well. So I have my bipod oriented facing forward. That's just the way I like it. I keep it in the very front, the very front uh, M-lock rail because I keep my my under guard here or my my angle foregrip pretty up forward because I got long arms. So I like it more up here for better control. And it still allows me to have enough space to get my finger in here without interfering with that. Now if you wanted to change this orientation facing this way, you can do that by simply loosening it up all the way. And you could turn it this way and tighten it back up. Now if I wanted it facing back this way like this, um, you can do that as In well. In case you guys are curious about the panning feature, I enabled the panning feature just so I could show you guys that it can pan. So if you wanted to pan your rifle left or right, you can do so. So that option is there if you wanted to, and you could still rotate left and right as well. So it has that option. If you also, if you it. wanted to make this super tight so it doesn't move at all, all you would do is just tighten this down completely. Tighten it down to the max. And that will keep it steady if you wanted to do that. So yeah. 